Hello Alamogordo, this is your Mayor Susie Galea and I'm coming uh, to AlamogordoLive.net to speak to you today about uh, coming events in our community. Uh, we're looking forward to our July 4th celebrations. Uh, the Hallman Air Force Base will celebrate on July 3rd with a fireworks celebration. Um, all, it's open to all the public as long as you have access to the base through a, another military member. Also on July 4th, the city will host a parade at 10 a.m. on 10th Street and it'll also go uh, from 10th Street down to Oregon to our historic New York Avenue and down to 9th Street as well. I look forward to seeing many of the members of the community out there at our parade and I hope to um, pass out uh, candy of some kind to uh, all the children and the adults as well if you like candy. And uh, also I want to let you know about our fireworks display at the Space Museum. Um, it'll be this uh, evening or the evening of the July 4th and if you would like to view it other places, I know Plateau Expresso and also Griggs Field are great places to stop and see the fireworks. I look forward to you enjoying the safe and sane fireworks that will be displayed. Uh, members of the community can also purchase fireworks for their own use and I urge you to use caution and be safe. We want to prevent uh, forest fires and grass fires here in the, um, in the region and also throughout the state. And I thank the citizens of Alamogordo for their uh, attention to what's been going on lately with the Benito Lake. The city, uh, through our city manager and also our, um, our city utilities manager, has been very uh, thought, has used a lot of forethought. And they've done a lot to uh, benefit the city through our resources that we have left at the Benito Lake. Um, their line is down, but in the past, uh, the line has been down for two years at a time. It has not faced the citizens of Almogordo. We are looking for alternative water sources right now. And as we do that, I would urge citizens to conserve water as much as they can. Uh, conservation is not a requirement at this time, uh, but I uh, myself would like to be prudent and conserve what resources we do have. And I um, want to thank the firefighters that continue to fight the fire. It's still at 90% uh, containment. And I thank the Forest Service workers that helped the city of Alamogordo on our city lands to mitigate the effects of flooding. Um, as the rain season comes, the uh, effects of flooding will be vast for the people that are uh, down the creek or the river of the Benito Lake. And um, I would like to prepare the city of Alamogordo to help those victims that uh, potentially will be affected by flood uh, in the Rio Doso area and on down to Hondo. And uh, I want to thank Alamogordo for all that they do. We have great contractors that Severn and Trent to um, which they've helped us also with our Benito Lake project and all the citizens of Alamogordo who have been vigilant and providing donations uh, to the victims. I thank you. Uh, you've done such a great job with supporting the victims of the Little Bear Fire and they've received so many donations generously and I just want to um, ask for more of your support. If you have time to volunteer, uh, none of the items that were donated have actually gone out to the victims. Uh, they've received such a, a generous offering of donations that they actually need help sorting them in their warehouse. And if you are available to donate your time to sort through uh, clothing by gender and size, the city of Rio Doso and the fire victims would surely appreciate your time and your help and the um, information about where and when you can go to volunteer your time to help sort through the donations will be flashed on the screen after this message. Thank you.